Hello guys, welcome back to this new video. This time around we are going to discuss credere, which is to believe. First of all, we conjugate. So, io credo, tu credi, lui, lei crede, noi crediamo, voi credete, and then loro credono. That's the first point. Second point, we have this verb meaning to believe, credere. Now, once we know the conjugation for credere, we also need to say that credere is usually followed by either a or in. Okay? Now, guys, um, I think that the best way to understand which preposition to use, either a or in, is to go and have a look at the sentences I wrote here as examples. So we have first one, noi crediamo in te. Now this in, this in here means in your possibilities, in your capacities, um, in we believe, in other words, in you, okay? Exactly like you use it in English. Loro credono in Dio, they believe in God. This one is interesting, because io credo a te, that is just I believe you, okay, in English. So, in other words, we put a when we want to say believe something you are telling me right now, or believe what you are telling me right now. So we put a when we want to say just you, a te, instead of just te, we put a te, um, and that would be um, believe you, and so that would be I believe what you are saying. I believe what you are telling me. So io credo a te would be I believe you. Um, and a te instead of, uh, um, instead of in te because it's I believe what you are saying, what you are telling me. I believe your version. Um, so io credo a te. And then the last example here is voi credete di essere sinceri, that is di because we do have a verb, okay? So voi credete di blah 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 verb, blah blah blah. Sinceri here because this is voi and it could either be sinceri or sincere. Okay guys? Um, so, credere to believe. Um, as usual, please write down your own sentences, record, listen and repeat. Now guys, so we are going to go to the next verb which is prendere.